Hello, I'm David Pogue. As it turns out, I'm not the only person in my family tree with technical genes. My great uncle Harold was a pioneer in the art of high speed photography. This week, I reviewed the Casio EX F1, the world's fastest digital camera. I couldn't help thinking that Uncle Harold would have loved this thing. Oh no! Another shot my camera missed. My daughters are gymnastic superstars, but I can't seem to get one decent shot. Help me, David Pogue. Why, hello there, little lady. How might I be of assistance? David, this is stupid. I, I don't want to act like I'm some kind of helpless Not girl. to fear, sweetie. I can help. What's your name, darling? I'm Tracy. I'm your sister. Tracy, is it? Well, Tracy, what you need is not so much a camera as a time machine. And I think I can help. This is the new Casio EX-F1. It's a consumer camera, a $1,000 model. That's the Dave, that's it for me, right? I don't, I don't have any more lines. Yeah, yeah, you're done. Th thanks. Get the girls ready. It's the world's fastest consumer digital camera. How does 60 frames a second strike you? OK, nieces, it's demo time. As long as I'm squeezing the shutter button, I'm firing shots. After I'm done, I can keep all those shots, delete all those shots, or review the whole sequence on the screen. And when I find a shot I want to preserve, I just snap the shutter button. Even the flash is fast. It can do seven shots per second. But that's just the beginning of this camera's time tricks. Let's say I want to photograph something that's completely unpredictable, like the precise moment when my niece lets go of the bar. The FX1 has a mode where when I press the shutter button, it stores the rapid fire photos of whatever happened right before I press the shutter button. So I can actually capture pictures of something that I've already missed. The FX1 even has a motion sensor. It's great if I'm shooting wildlife, like a hummingbird or a butterfly. I just set the camera down like this and push the shutter. It's gonna sit there waiting until it sees motion in the scene. And then it auto fires at high speed. And did I mention that this camera also captures video, either standard def or high definition? You're looking at it right now. There's even an ultra high frame rate option that gives you total ultra slow motion up to 1,200 frames per second. The downside is that the higher the frame rate, the smaller the frame itself. Now, all those amazing special effects do come at something of a price. The camera's expensive, $1,000. It's got a 12x zoom, but it's slow to respond. The low light capability is not good. And it's also kind of big and heavy. You know, it's, jeez. But one thing's for sure. If you're shooting action, sports, wildlife, or even subtle variations of a smile, 60 shots per second gives you flexibility you've never had before. Are we done yet? Uh, yes, we're done. Thank you very much. Thanks, girls. So, uh, can I have my camera back? Oh, right. Sorry. <laughs>